Okay, uh, backups are important, um, and copies, and we are going to talk about that. But uh, first I need to uh, turn on, on something that, um, well, it goes back to my story about, uh, you know, being able to show somebody's an idiot. Um, and that is uh, Slack space. Now, Slack space is unused space in the storage that you are dealing with. Um, the uh, storage, uh, you know, traditionally we're thinking of a disk. Let's, let's uh, continue that for convenience sake anyways. And you can see, uh, you know, where you have to modify things for different types of storage. But anyways, um, the, uh, there is the uh, logical slack space. And that is when, when the disk is, is set up and uh, formatted and you have uh, the little wedges, you have the, the individual tracks and so on and so forth. And they're all of a fixed size. They will store a fixed amount of information. Um, but file sizes, of course, can be any size. So when you come to the end of a file, uh, you, you know, have uh, a certain amount of information left over, and it, it probably is not going to uh, fit precisely into the size of the track. So the... Um, you have the end of file marker, which the uh, file system is going to be used to uh, say, you know, yes, this is the end of the file. Uh, anything beyond this is, is not part of this file. Okay, fair enough. But the space is still there. And that space um, may contain uh, quite a lot of information. Uh, from actually a, an unknown number of different files. The, the end um, of one file, the middle of another file, um, whatever is left over and hasn't been overwritten when you write the end of your file, you know, that's, that's slack space. And there's an awful lot of slack space on the disk. And as I said, in another area, uh, going and, and uh, you know, recreating a file um, that I had uh, deleted, overwritten, um, I, I was able to pick up multiple copies and therefore rebuild uh, the files. And so we can use this Slack space um, for um, recovering uh, a lot of information that people think has been deleted. Um, and of course, you know, these days, uh, you know, first of all, has it been deleted or is it in the recycle bin? Um, but even when it gets deleted, is it really deleted or is that file just marked as, okay, this space is available? And, uh, you know, the, the information is still there um, and can be recovered uh, very often with a single bit um, twiddle um, the uh, uh, and and even you know if if that's that space has been partly overwritten being used for some other file um, there you know part of that file may still be there so you can have all kinds of information in that slack space now this is logical slack space. This is the uh, the slack space that the operating system knows about. Uh, and uh, there are, uh, well, I mean, uh, most of the uh, commercially available, widely used forensics tools use the operating system. So they're looking at this logical slack space. 
but there is a different kind of slack space. The, um, the tracks, as they are laid down, as they are formatted on the disc, um, are not laid down as to where exactly every bit goes. No, they are laid down as to this, is the, this marker indicates the beginning of a track or a sector. And um, when, uh, you know, where the, the bits actually get laid down depends on, you know, the actual physical timing of the disc spinning around. And so um, it may not fill the entire space allowed for it by the, the markers that are laid down when you format the disc. So this extra bit is another different kind of slack space. This is physical slack space. Now, the, the operating system does not know about this. So, um, uh, if you use the commercial tools that only look at this logical slack space, that's all they're going to find. But the physical slack space is still there. It is still possible. And if you are a good enough programmer, you can use it. And the only reason that I know about this is that in the early days of uh, computer viruses, in order to find spaces uh, to put their code, to put their virus code, um, where it would not be overwritten, would not be evident, would not be seen by the operating system, some of the programmers actually used this physical slack space at the ends of tracks between tracks um, at the uh, you know short uh, areas of, of sectors um, outside the range that is normally used to to write tracks and format them on the disk all kinds of these uh, physical slack space areas do exist on the disk. Um, now, obviously, this is not going to be seen by the operating system, so uh, the systems that only use the operating system to get at the forensic information are not going to find these extra areas. So, uh, this is... Um, unusual. It, it is not something that you are going to run into every day. You are, you know, this is something that is going to be used by someone who's quite technically competent. It's also going to be um, sort of individual to the, the specific machine, even to the specific disk drive. So, um, that is uh, unusual, but it is there. And uh, we need to consider that as we talk about backups of various types, which we will do shortly.